Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 14th of 2019. Well, it is titled Mercury and the quiet sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken on Monday uh, of this past week, and it shows the planet Mercury transiting across the sun. Now a transit occurs when a, an object passes in front of another one. And in a case, this case, a smaller object passing in front of a much larger object like the sun. And you can see Mercury here as it passes in front of the sun and blocks out a tiny portion of its light. Now the transits are relatively rare occurrences and can only occur for a planet closer to the sun than where you are located. So from the Earth only Mercury and Venus can be seen to transit the sun. If you were on Mars you could see Mercury, Venus and Earth transit the sun. So it has to be a planet closer to the sun than you that can get in between you and the sun. Now this occurs rarely because the orbits are all tilted. So you have to have everything lined up perfectly. And in fact, over a 100 years for Mercury, there are 14 transits. So there was one three years ago in 2016. However, the next one will not occur for another 13 years in November of 2032, when everything will line up again and Mercury will once again uh, travel across the face of the sun. Now as we look at the sun we notice that there are no sunspots. We are at the very minimum of a solar cycle and therefore sunspots are relatively rare and we have not seen a whole lot and in fact this whole year we've seen very very few sunspots across the surface of the sun. The solar activity seems to come and go with about an 11 year cycle. So several years ago we were at a peak of the solar activity and now we were at that minimum and if all goes as planned of a few years from now we will start to see a lot of sunspots again. However, just because there are no sunspots does not mean there is not any solar activity. We can see a number of solar prominences around the edge of the sun, which are also signs of a little bit of activity on the sun. And those are areas where the sun's magnetic field is lifting uh, hot plasma up off the surface. So it's kind of a smaller version of a flare where the material is lifted up and then falls back down to the surface over time. In a flare which would be much more intense that material would snap out very quickly and actually can be expelled off the surface of the sun. So that can do happen and get that material moving fast enough that even the sun's gravity would be unable to hold it. And that's when we begin to see effects here on Earth where that material reaches the Earth and interacts with our magnetic field giving us things like the aurora and causing some slight disruption to things things like electronic communications because of the intensity of the particles that are traveling here. So we can see a number of things here, including those prominences around the edge of the sun. We can also see the planet Mercury as it makes its last transit for 13 years. So that was our picture of the day for November the 14th of 2019. It was titled Mercury and the Quiet Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be star streams and galaxies. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.